Hello, my name is Vineet Bansode. I am a graphologist. Graphology means handwriting and signature analysis. And today we are going to talk about graphology based on uh, certain facts and figures, but mostly focusing on children as uh, analysis. Now, in children, it is very easy to analyze because children are still in the forming age. Till the age of 16, uh, we are still growing and uh, our brain is still growing. So the habits are forming. Now, with graphology, there is also another um, uh, area of graphology which is called graphotherapy, which actually says that if you change your handwriting, you know, it actually changes the way you think. It's called reverse psychology. If you do something to your handwriting, some positive changes in your handwriting, it starts impacting the way you think and if your thoughts change, then your habits will change, you know. The common uh, challenges that children face are the child doesn't talk much or he's not having good discipline or is not focusing enough or he is not well or is not energetic or uh, he doesn't have confidence and things like that. These are common things parents tell us. So today we are going to uh, focus on four or five traits that every child should have. And if a child can develop these five traits, then he will be good in most of the areas. So uh, the basic things that uh, a child always we expect from a child is that first the child should be organized. You know, always the parents will keep us, uh, you know, complaining about the child that the child doesn't keep things at the right places or he's not organized or you know he will not be structured in the way he's doing or haphazard so that's very very uh, simple whenever the child writes make him write in a very good margin on the left side so all the sentences should be exactly one below the other so if the margins are organized that means he will automatically start feeling organized and in, in a span of maybe two or three or maybe four months sometimes you will start seeing the child will automatically start becoming more organized. Second is we always hear this parents tell us that you know the child will do silly mistakes and he will lose marks in the examination you know he will say he knew that so instead of writing this he wrote that so it's a silly mistake and he lost the marks. So for these kind of things there is something called as eye for detail a person uh, writing in a particular way will have good eye for details and for children uh, observation skill is very very important or focusing on small things is very very important so I'm going to show you one character and if you have that trait you know then your eye for detail will be very very good this is the small uh, letter I and if you see the eye dotting on the eye it's very uh, close to the eye so if the eye dotting is very very close that means the person will have a good eye for detail his observation skills his ability to concentrate or his ability to read in between the lines or even uh, focus simple focus could be very good if you do this change so check in your children if their eye dotting is like this if it is not if it is on the top it is it's behind the eye or it is ahead of eye then it is not a very good thing tell the child to do the eye dotting exactly on the eye stem and uh, you can see the changes happening in him he, his focus will increase his eye for details will increase secondly many times uh, parents uh, think that he should be aspirational that he doesn't participate in competition he doesn't you know uh, take part into many kind of other activities so he's not very aspirational so for aspiration there is a very interesting uh, uh, letter if that one letter is changed a lot of self-respect grows and very ambitiousness kind of thinking happens and that is the small letter T. If you see this T, the T bar, the horizontal line on the T is low and if the T bar is low that means your aspirations are low or your self-image is low but on the right side if you see the T bar is higher. So if the T bar is higher that means the person will want to participate. He will he will start thinking that I want to be a winner. He will want to take risk. He will, you know, develop his skills in such a way that uh, the leadership in, in him will grow and he will improve some kind of confidence in whatever he does that. Trait we always see is the person does not have good memory. He says he reads and he works so hard but uh, the child doesn't remember, you know. So he, he or she has to, your son or your daughter has to read 10 times to remember something. So developing memory or having that kind of IQ or having that kind of uh, sharp intellect. If you see the alphabet H, sometimes the H actually looks like N in children. 
so if the h is looking like n that means the person has to really struggle to remember something or to understand the concept or to uh, you know even uh, grasp something uh, very easily but if you raise the stem of the h if you do the h the way it is shown here automatically your grasping ability increase uh, your iq will also increase slowly slowly if you start early in life another trait uh, many times uh, we listen from parents is that uh, they will buy hard everything the children will buy hard everything but when they go for the exam they will forget people get blank so children also get blank in uh, the exams they knew what they uh, wanted to write but uh, the connection is missing basically you know like if you Uh, they remember the entire answer but the one word or the first opening they uh, don't remember so for that there is a very uh, interesting uh, example i'll show you uh, there are two ways of writing uh, any handwriting one is disconnected and one is connected so if the person is writing disconnected that means he can actually get blank he is not connected to uh, the thought that he is talking about so on the right side we are showing you a sample where a person can write connected so if a person writes connected there are high chances that his thoughts are connected and uh, he will have a good memory if you can uh, start writing like this so any child who writes separately or writes print you know every letter is different that is not good for memory so if he writes in a very continuous way without lifting much of the pen and four or five letters are connected to each other that means the uh, memory is good and the most important part uh, children already always have a problem is the energy part like children are weak or they are not very energetic so whenever you write you should write with lot of pressure so putting lot of pressure on the paper when you write that it should almost come on the next page so that kind of handwriting has lot of energy that kind of writing has lot of will power determination and things like that so these are a few things if you start uh, analyzing in your child and wherever you need to change if you can change then those traits will grow in the child and definitely you will see some changes in your children uh, by changing the handwriting